Oh yeah, sexy biscuits. Nice. This is Duke Nukem 3D on the Sega Mega Drive and or Genesis, released in 1998 by GT and Tech Toy, only in Brazil. Now, it may have the 3D Realms logo at the start, but they, both companies can test it, and I know who I'd be more inclined to side with. 3D Realms say they never gave them the permission to make this game. Tech Toy said they were given permission in a conversation. I'm probably going to agree more with um, 3D Realms, but yeah, so it's, well, it's an official game, it's an official port on the Mega Drive, well, it's not really official because it's, well, a pirated title. Um, I'm going to do a quick gameplay of it just to show it because what it does do is prove that, you know, in the right hands, the Mega Drive is, you know, possible or has the potential to do some absolutely wonderful, wonderful things. You're looking at it and thinking it's probably shit. Bear in mind there's no extra hardware in the cartridge whatsoever, you know, there's no extra chip or anything like there was with um, virtual racing, you know, so the fact that it scales like this to me is really quite impressive for a 16-bit system outside of the computers, and even then the Amiga and Atari ST games of a similar nature was shit. Pretty sure you know what Duke Nukem is, criminally, you know, let down franchise in recent years, because the, the previous entry into the series a few years ago in the 360s, as much as I wanted to like it, is shit. Anyway, I've waffled too much, so let's get into it. This is set, obviously, originally a PC game. Let's go with that. I'm certainly going with a piece of cake. You want to know why? This game is so balls horrifically ass spankingly hard. I think licking the sun would be realistically easier and more achievable than making it to the end of this game. That said... Alright, show you. Um, it does ease up once you get weapons. It's just... Plowing through the early stages is so... Hard as you're about to see it right now. It's been ages since I've done this, so strafe, hold that down to strafe. That one's open, Ooh, that one's fire, and I should probably conserve my ammo because you run out of it really quick, and when you run out of it, basically, shit doesn't find your face. Planets and st moon stations do. Right, so door open. Now, I think this looks really, really good. I think it's a port, or sorry, a only one of the episodes because of the uh, limitations of the hardware or memory size, I should say. But then, bearing in mind, it's stripped down as it is. There's a bloke around there, and he's gonna hurt me. It's impressive. Ooh, nice. Normally, I never get past him without taking damage. Oh, how do you reload? Oh, it's gonna bite me in the ass. There's a bloke around here as well. Oh, bollocks! That's not far. That strafe. Come on, come on. You know what I mean? Ew. Christ alive! It's so hard! Alright, I'm trying to move slowly so why I'm basically got the word shoot here written on my forehead, but that's because if I turn too quickly the camera won't really capture it. But there is a bloke in here. That reloading thing can really bite you in the ass, but. Come in here, come in here, come in here, spaceship boy. I wanna blow your fucking spaceship face off. I got away from it. Alright, come on. Can't I ooh Shit Oh bollocks. I didn't even get to put my foot so far up your ass to be coughing shoe for a week. Let's try that again. Little dance he was doing there. Alright. There was a save option, I can't get it to work. Which if I could, I would milk like a cheap bastard, because as I said, this game is hard. It's a shame, because you won't see any of the later weapons and stuff, because they are on it. I should have... Let the, the start title screen run for a bit so you could see them, because I certainly won't be able to show them to you. Right, here we go. It's that reload thing, down to 60. And your straight thing does nothing. Goggles, they do nothing. 44, fuck off. 
screw it. New game plan. Leggy leggy. I like that. There's ammo in here though, isn't there? If I recall correctly. Leggy. Oh, you can shoot shit. The environment's quite expansive for the Mega Drive. He shot the shit and it blew me up. But you can shoot stuff and it blows up and, and shit. This really isn't a deep gameplay, sorry. Oh, are we? I was gonna give it cr crap. No, no, no. Well, that was a very progressive and helpful save, wasn't it? I.e. or load, I should say. I.e. did wank. Ooh. It's that reload thing, it completely fucks you. Crap, his explosion blew my little face off. Look at his little strut, mind. Yeah. See, they're quite impressive, sprite-wise. No? Does it? It all goes back to the title screen, does it? No, it doesn't. I'm stuck in a loop. Right. I've one more, well, maybe another one after it, because I just want to get out of that bloody room. i got a new game plan, actually. I'm just running. No, I'm not, because you came around the corner. You're not supposed to know how to navigate corners. You're two dimensional sprites in a fictional game universe. Why are there two of you? I don't like that. There's two of you. How am I still alive? <laughs> right, one more. Getting paying for yes, because the last time I didn't I got extra people. I say you strike wisely, but I'm rapidly finding out it really doesn't do anything. Wow, pasty. Oh, right, right. I got full mag. So here we go. This is gonna work. Is my heart rate picked up? Ooh, no you don't! What's that? It doesn't do anything. Is there anything in there? Yeah, that. Really? For a pistol? I was gonna stick it up my ass. Protective doors of death. Oh crap! I tell you what. <laughs> uh, I think I might try and see if I can lick the sun instead. Anyway, Duke Nukem 3D on Sega Mega Drive. Balls hard, but you got to admire it for what it's managed to do. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you later.